top three things in my notebook this morning, number one, Europe, number two, the 10-year bond yield here in the U.S., and then number three, the Russell 2000. So first on Europe, you get up this morning and Europe's down a little bit, then it's down more than a little bit, then it's down a lot, and it's down a lot more in places that are A, illiquid, and B, have a lot of debt. So that place would be considered Greece. Uh, Greece down 6 to 8%, depending on which minute you're looking at it, but it's obviously crashed for the year to date. It's down well over 33%. So again, this does remind you that deflation is bad for the debtor. Uh, point number two for the 10-year bond yield. For those of you who are still in sync with us and believe that global growth is slowing uh, despite what CNBC is telling you, and deflation remains a pervasive risk. So again, global growth slowing plus deflation equals love for the TLT, love for the long bond. So again, on pullbacks, you only get paid if you pull on pullbacks. You pull back and you say, hey, look, I'm going to pull back the, you know, the peeling of my eyes, and I'm going to say that I believe that Hedge is right. Global growth is slowing and deflation is occurring, so I am going to buy the pullback in the long bond. So, again, you got one more opportunity in that last week with bond yields rising. Uh, bond yields obviously falling again this morning as global growth risks continue to mount. Now, finally, the Russell 2000. Uh, it, for those who have been bullish on the Russell, it's been a great year. I mean, as the Russell was down for the year to date up until the, the, really the uh, first week of December, and then boom, two weeks, and you get your whole year annualized return uh, on no volume, obviously, on holiday weeks. But who cares? There it is. Now it fits the narrative. Uh, so it is what it is. On this one, I'm actually not interested in charting it. That's been a great call for us, both relative and absolute throughout the year. Obviously, we have not had the Russell on. On, the, on this kind of a bounce, we, you, you'll note in real-time alerts, we have not had it on on the short side for good reason. And again, that's because it looked like it was going higher, and it did. So again, Russell 2000's up. There's a lot of performance chasing in that, and it is a way to play U.S. domestic only. And again, a lot of people are going to go with that narrative until they can. So those are your top three things.